So, um, recorded this a couple times, but um, yeah, uh, just every time it came out, it sounded weird. Um, I got it stuck in the box, but basically, um, got a PD16 from Haltech. Um, I suppose this is a layman's or a clown's guide to what it actually is, does, but um, I suppose the biggest thing what you guys will need to know, um, this is the generic loom that comes with it, I think it's 16 feet or something, um, but you can find a bit more of the information on the website anyway, but basically, yeah, this deletes all of the relays and fuses, um, yeah, everything goes that single positive lug on the um, front or power lug and then yeah as you can see you got the different channels um, which all have their own indicator lights and then yeah like I said you can tell the power's on to the unit um, the Wi-Fi status etc or if there's a engine fault um, I suppose one thing you'll need to know is you've got to have a Haltech ECU um, to run this thing so um, mine, for example, is an Elite 2000. Um, where this sort of came in better was, um, yeah, the 2000s, basically 2500, but just with a few less outputs. Um, and yeah, it doesn't have a few features like um, driver wire, etc. Um, Could have gone the Nexus. Um, and yeah, had both in one, but I mean, this thing's been working as you can see. The um, relays and fuses, some people might look at that and go, Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. Some people might be looking at that and <laughs> laughing as well. But um, it's a couple of different color terminals and whatever else in there, it's been through a couple of different iterations, um, stuffed up under there, but yeah. Let's see if I can get that a little bit further around there, but anyway, the wideband box and the, um, the WB2 and the um, TC8, all that for the um, yeah for the thermocouples or the um, EGTs are all stuffed up in there. But um, yeah, uh, basically with the new Ute, it will give me an opportunity to um, rewire completely um, and yeah, just tidy all that crap up basically. Um, rip yourself a few notes here because you know, I said I'm not the best guy to explain this but I um, just want to give give everyone an idea of what what it actually does um, what it can do I suppose and what you'd use it for in sort of a, a burnout application um, so you can see well uh, just making sure I'm looking at the right wiring map because there's two um, yeah, so that's if you've got a plug and play or an elite harness, um, go straight into. But um, yeah, mine's a custom harness. Um, obviously, I repinned from the um, AEM that I had in there previously. <coughs> so we won't talk about that. Um, but yeah, this basically you get um, 10 high side outputs which are um, 8 amp each so you can drive things like water pumps um, you know injectors etc um, yeah a lot of different little things with that um, you get a dedicated power like a switched power for the ignition yeah, this is my notes <laughs> um, but yep yeah, you get uh, four which is the heavy plug or the um, yeah, this one here, or four 25 amp uh, outputs. So those couple will probably be my fans and coils, I'd say. Um, so yeah, run, because those um, IDN1 coils, again from Haltech, um, use a little bit of juice. So yeah, um, what else we got? You got oh, additional five volt um, sensor supply and grounds. Um, so, yeah, like I said, if you want to run, um, you know, 
whatever off it additional to what you'd have in your ECU um, that's there or you can you know take those power supplies off the ECU and run it direct from this um, you got two half bridged outputs now my understanding of that is um, for things like stepper motors or potentially water pumps so you can like pulse width modulate so yeah basically just on off on off on off like quicker or faster um, so soft start basically uh, things like you know when your fans kick in and your alternator um, belt squeals etc like that's that huge voltage load um, so yeah, you can soft start that, um, so you avoid those spikes. Um, what I was having was a voltage spike the other way where I was hitting my isolator and having the ignition still switched on. So it was a, yeah, doing a false log. Um, so I had like a couple of um, zero RPM logs that were coming up, but yeah. Um, what else we got? Yeah, uh, extra inputs. So again, like I said, for the 2000, um, you're a little bit limited on inputs, obviously being a burnout car um, and reasonably basic. I don't have too many and I haven't run out thus far. Um, but yeah, um, it all talks via can. So um, that's this plug. Um, and yeah, like I said, all the other devices. So the IC7 dash, um, the wideband, the um, thermocouples, they're all um, can as well. So like I said, those um, all basically just plug and play almost. Um, but yeah, and then like I said these will or like they'll reset. Um, themselves so you can set them for as many tries as you want so if we overload one of those channels um yeah it'll like trip and then reset how many times you want after i think you can set the delay period as well um but yeah and you can also pull logs off those so if you've got something going bad um bearing on a water pump or the, i don't know a bit of trash stuck in your fan or whatever coil going bad potentially I, yeah i don't know um it, it'll log the um amperage anyway um amp draw i suppose um so yeah uh, basically just a good way at least for me of cleaning up that mess under the dashboard anyway um so you gotta thank the guys from Haltech again obviously everything everything is Haltech on there yeah has been for a while but um just keep sort of adding to it and you know like i said the dash and everything i'll delete all the gauges on the on the new ute but um yeah the coils will go on the new um well integrated strut brace on the new ones so done a flat file etc but um yeah it'll all um tidy up all that mess um leads and everything will be shortened up and go to those but yeah thanks again to the guys at Haltech